Welcome to another Blue Prism tutorial with Dave the RPA Guy. So you have installed Blue Prism and you are ready to go. Before you start development, let me tell you a couple things about connections that I think will help you to organize your thoughts in your development environments. Let me mention here that the purpose of this video is to explain the basic concepts of the relationship of connections in Blue Prism to the database. This is not a discussion at all or an explanation of Blue Prism servers or how to set them up. So maybe we'll come up with that later, but for now I just want to explain some basics that I think will help new Blue Prism developers understand how to get their environments um, straight and, and not be confused by that. So when I started, I did not understand this at all. And I'm so glad that eventually I figured it out and I was able to set up different environments. The thing, one thing I did not understand is how SQL instances work. So I wanna explain that here as well as explain the relationship between connections and databases. All right, so let me show you what we're talking about here. In the connection configuration window in Blue Prism, before you've logged into an environment, you have the choice to set up new connections, delete connections, you can create, upgrade, and configure databases, and you can test connections. What I believe I showed you in the last video is how to set up a connection, which is pretty simple, and the way you do it for your local SQL instance is going to be like this. You can name your connection whatever, and your connection type has to be SQL Server, Windows Authentication, or I shouldn't say it has to be. This is the suggested way. Your database server is localhost because it's on your local machine, so you could actually put the local IP address here, and then SQL Express is the default name of a SQL Server instance. And then database name, you can name it whatever you want. After you've typed something here and you filled in these three things, you can click Create Database, which it already exists for me. Uh, you can test the connection. It'll say database valid. That's how you set up connection. Okay, so what you can do is you can create as many connections as you want. So I'm just going to hit New Connection a couple times here. Uh, I'm not going to fill in the details here, but I'll just switch to Windows Authentication on each of these. And let's say that I created databases for each of these. Uh, I don't actually want databases to exist, so I'm not going to create them. But let's say that I put in the localhost SQL Express in every one of these in the database server field. Okay, because we're going to be pointing the same SQL Express instance. In database name, I could actually just type, say, like DB1, DB2. DB3, this connection 4. So I'll type in DB1. This is why I want to show that a connection can point to any database in the SQL instance. Remember, we have SQL Express here. If I were to do this, and I'd actually have to create database. If I clicked create database right now, and then I said, oh, okay, yep, that's what I want it to, to do. I'm not using Active Directory authentication. So click OK, it would create the database. I don't actually want to do that. And remember that we created connections 1 through 4 with DB1, 2, 3. So here's in the black, this... Um, don't make fun of me. This is paint. I know it's paint. I know it looks terrible, but it gets the point across. Okay, so don't judge me. So this black square represents the SQL Server instance that we have called SQL Express. You could have more SQL Server instances on your machine. In this instance, we have three databases, database one, database two, and database three. Now, how do we access those databases? That's where connections come in. You set up a connection, we could call it connection one, and we point it to database one. We create connection two, create a database called database two, and then we point that connection to database two. Create a connection three, create a database called database three, point that connection three to database three. Uh, you saw me create connection four, so let's put in connection four. Since we pointed it to database one, here is where connection four would be. Connection four, and then if we're continuing with our ugly paint method here of explaining this, connection four does the same thing as connection one does effectively because it points directly to the same database, to database one. Now why you do that, there's not really a huge benefit to it. I'm just telling you so that you understand it. So I'm gonna remove those by hitting control Z. You wanna create a connection to one database, have a purpose for that database. Connection to another database, have a purpose for that. All of these though can reside in the same SQL Server instance. And for as long as I've been testing and working with Blue Prism on my own local machine, I've never run into some maximum for a number of databases that I can have. So I hope that helps to explain it a little bit. And uh, if anything's unclear, let me know in the comments and I will come up with a, a follow-up video to explain anything that wasn't clear.